What is up, gang? We are starting a brand new game this week. Uh, it has been but a simple week since you finished or saw me finish Twilight Princess at long last. Uh, but in real time, it has been like six months, I think, since I finished that game. Uh, and a lot has changed. Um, still kind of doing the pandemic thing. We had like a brief, brief, like four week period where we thought it was going to get better. And then, you know... Well, you know. So, um, we're now jumping into The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, a game that when we started this series way back in February of last year, uh, still this year when I'm recording, spoilers, but anyway, um, back when we first started this series back in uh, February of 2020, 2020, 2021, 2021, it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, this didn't even exist. This was like, if you'll recall, way back in the Ocarina days, my uh, my go-to catchphrase for this series was, we're doing all of the 3D Zeldas except for Skyward Sword because I didn't have a Wii to play it on and I didn't hate myself. Well, I still don't have a Wii. Um, hating myself is debatable. Uh, but they've at least taken the time to port this to the Switch and they've given us the opportunity to do it with button controls. Are they perfect? No. So as you can see here uh, from this save file, I've beaten the game. Um, I did go through when the game came out, played through it, took me about 30 hours here as you can see. Um, but a lot of that was fumbling around and, I, and that's why I wanted to take the time to like really explore the game and, and do it on my own first before I tried to do the series on it. Because I wanted to, I didn't want to go in as blind as I did on uh, Twilight Princess, and, and really not as blind as I went in on Majora's Mask. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna dig in to a brand new. Start the game in hero mode. No, we're gonna do normal mode. All right, so we need a new name. We've already used me. We've used. You, I have to try to fit Zaheda in here somehow. I got eight letters to choose from. There we go. Zehe. UL. There it is. We did it. We did it, fam. Which actually, I don't even need the Y. Do I? No, because that's not how her name is spelled. So we're going to do. We're going to do one of these. Can I fit? I can fit a period in between. Let's do that. Oh, uh, but I can't do it in between. Uh, well, let's do this. Just because I don't like the way that the uh, the capital U and capital E look next to each other. There we go. Zeheuel is going to get us through Skyward Sword HD. So, while all this cutscene bullshit is playing, um, my thoughts on it as, from my initial playthrough is kind of a mixed bag. Like, it's... Uh, there's some really good stuff in here, and there's some stuff in here that is absolutely baffling. Like, there's some stuff in here that just straight up does not respect the player's time. Um, and we'll get into that as we go along. The button control stuff is as good as it can possibly be, but it's still a flawed gimmick. Um, so, we'll see. I certainly, I think I have a better handle on it now than I did when I first started playing this back in July when it came out. Um, I have a better handle on what the game wants from you. Um, but yeah, this is going to be an interesting, interesting experience. I've given myself probably about six weeks or so, a month, six weeks, since I finished, uh, to kind of let it marinate, let me get some separation from it, uh, and then be able to dig back into it, uh, for this, for the channel. I think visually it looks, you know, decent. It's obviously it's a Wii game, so it's only gonna look so pretty even with a remaster. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we feel about it this time and, and tell me how you're feeling about it too. Should I just skip this? Can I skip this? I don't think I can skip this part actually.
So just like always, I hope everyone is having a lovely Tuesday morning, or whatever day it is you happen to be watching this. <clears throat> there we are. They went real anime with this one. Real anime. Like, and I kind of like it sometimes, and then other times I really don't like it, so... talk about it we, we all saw it we all saw it we're not gonna talk about it so just like any good Zelda game starting off in our bed or at least next to it Today's the wings ceremony. So this is sort of canonically, which I can't rem remember. I think it was when this game came out originally um, that this uh, brought about the Zelda timeline. Yeah, so this is a whole thing. Holding L and tilting R to move the camera, that is a problem like that takes you so long to get used to because you've got so much uh muscle memory tied in with just moving the right analog stick which i should point out i'm playing this on the pro controller uh which i think is the only way to play this game i can't imagine playing it any other way to be perfectly honest like this makes the controls as palatable as it, they can be um and even then, it's still kind of a struggle at times. You're like throwing things with the, the right stick. Like it's just, there's just a lot. Can I talk to you? I guess not. So, all right, so we're trying to find Zelda, I think. I think is our first order of business here. And much like any modern Zelda game, uh, the tutorial section is way too fucking long. Like, we will probably be in tutorial section for uh, at least this first part. Skyloft, which is kind of our main hub area. This is a very... Having now experienced this game in its entirety, like, this is definitely a primordial version of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever, 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 don't care. So, like, you got your little stamina wheel, which looks like the LimeWire logo. We all know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they want us to find the... It's like a cat or something. Yeah, sure. Ooh. All right. So, like, you got your little stamina wheel here. There's just lots of little things in this game that, like, they they would do to much greater effect in Breath of the Wild. Like, you can see the germs of the ideas that would eventually be implemented much cleaner, much smarter. Uh, much more streamlined in Breath of the Wild. But it's kind of cool to see, a I mean, it, it, even though it is undoubtedly frustrating at times, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, it's unquestionably frustrating at times, but it is kind of cool to see where, where they started from. There, there you go. Alright, 
right, so now we're gonna head off towards the Statue of the Goddess. Rupee. We got our bird statues here, which is kind of a, um, it's kind of a equivalent to the owl statues in Majora's Mask. You can save there. Obviously, there's no time mechanic. Thank God. And then your stamina fruit there that replenishes your wheel. Um, but it is sort of uh, similar to Majora's Mask in that you can only. Um, you can only save at bird statues. So let's talk to Zelda. Zelda. I really like the design of Zelda, like the character of Zelda in this game. Like I think this version of Zelda is one of the one of my favorites. The character designs in general are a little wonky. Like I said, they went real anime with this game, but that's the harp that will be that's going to be kind of our ocarina of this game. And thank God it's not as obtuse as the howling mechanic in Twilight Princess. Good God. Like, it's not great by any means, but it's worlds better than that fucking howling thing. Like, that was awful. And this is kind of... So, uh, g going back to what I was saying earlier, like... I think it was with this game that, that this introduced the idea of the Zelda timeline, uh, and this was billed as, like, the first Zelda. This is the origin of all of the other legends, and this is where this is where we get the, connect the, the connecting of all of the various Zeldas that have ever been, um, which has been met with mixed results. You know, it's some people really like the idea that they're all connected, other people really fucking hate it. Um, I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. I'm like, if you want to, that's fine. If you want to think that they're all connected, that's great. You know, it doesn't bother me any. Um, but I also think that it's kind of cool to think of it like a legend. You know, like the, that there's just this different legend that keeps getting passed down from generation to generation. And it changes and, you know, names change and order of events changes. And I don't know, I just think that's, uh, for my money, I think that's the, the better way to look at it. But for better or worse, this is supposed to represent the first iteration of the Zelda legend. And so it establishes a lot of things that would carry, you know, they're kind of, they're backfilling. You know, this is supposed to be the first Zelda, and yet, you know, it's obviously, I think this was originally put out for the 25th anniversary of Zelda. And now, you know, as the HD port is coming out, it's the 35th, because time marches the fuck on, and we're all getting older one step closer to death every single day so yeah the loft wings the these are going to be very central to this game um kind of again a lot of the ideas that are in this game and i think too one of the reasons why i wanted to include this in this series is because i'm pretty sure that um the reason we got this hd remaster of this is that Breath of the Wild 2, which we still don't have a name for. We finally got a trailer, but we still don't have a name and we still don't have a release date. Um, I think is going to hev be heavily influenced uh, by Skyward Sword. I think it's going to have kind of a, a marriage of Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild and kind of hopefully be kind of the best of both worlds of those two games. I'm hoping. Because there, there is some stuff... I, I do not want to paint this picture that this game has no, no value. Like, there is definitely... I, I heard someone describe it as 
there's about 10 hours of the best Zelda game ever made in here, and there's about 20 hours of the worst Zelda game ever made in here, which I know doesn't bode well for the health of this series, but there's a lot of truth to that. Like, there is a lot of truth to that, because the stuff that's good in here is really good. Um, but then there's some stuff that just is just... I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's... It, like I said, it doesn't respect the player's time. And that's, I think, the, what frustrates me the most. Because that, And that's not a new problem for Zelda. That has definitely come up in other... That was a big complaint of mine in Majora's Mask was that, you know, the the stuff you would do between dungeons was so fucking tedious and so fucking time consuming. And there's a little bit of that in here, but it's nowhere near, I don't think, as egregious as um, Majora's Mask. It's just um, there's a few there's a few times in here where, like, they go to the same well too often. Like, there's a single boss in, in this game that you will fight no joke three different times and it's not like it's three different phases or you know anything like that you're just fighting the same boss over and over again with like little minor tweaks and it, it gets old it really does get old oh no our bird didn't come rescue us Fucking Zelda's got to come in and save the day, which hopefully by the time uh, this is coming out and you're watching this, because I'm still recording months ahead of time, but hopefully by the time you're watching this, we've gotten more information about Breath of the Wild 2. I'm still holding out hope that we're maybe going to get playable Zelda in that. From the trailers we saw at E3 2021, it didn't look like we... That certainly was not something... If it is going to be part of the game, they didn't want to show that card yet. But it didn't look like it to me. The vibe I got from the trailer was um, still very Link-centric, which is, you know, kind of a shame, but not entirely surprising. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go try and find what happened to our our loft wing. But first, we need to go talk to this instructor guy and. <laughs> Alright, let's go do that. Because I think we also need to get a sword from him, too. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. There we are. Okay. And we can't... Oh, we don't need to go down there yet. We're going over here. Hey, man. Yo! So we've at least touched base with that. Hmm? Alright, so someone has taken our loft wing. I don't remember why this door is closed. This is bird was chasing off. Which way? Great, you've been a big help. You've just been a tremendous help. I think I can go this way. Yeah, there we go. So we're looking for the this guy, Groos. Who I think is over here, yes. Cutscene! 
like I said, a lot of pretty much everything we're going to do in this first episode is just going to be getting through the tutorial stuff and hopefully getting done, getting on our way. Oof. Not a texture you want to see up close. <laughs> Let's make fun of his hair. Why not? It's stupid hair. We should make fun of it. Why do you insist on bullying me around? You shouldn't bully people with a haircut that stupid. God, this game's so fucking anime. <laughs> bird. I want my bird. Here's what I should have looked up ahead of time. Where the bird is, because I do not remember. It is on the island somewhere. Where is uh, sort of a mystery to me. Actually, I think it might be over here somewhere. So yeah, this is our little hub world, Skyloft. We'll be coming back here pretty frequently. This is going to be kind of all of all of the dungeons and stuff are going to be down on the surface. Well, for the most part, down on the surface. Um, that's going to be important when we get towards the end game. However long that takes us, I think this is where the bird is. But we need a, a sword first. So let's go back over to the academy place and see if. Can't get us a sword. So, so you see all these little, uh, little piers or little, you know, out little docks that are jutting off the side. This is where you jump off and then summon your loft wing to catch you and then you fly around the sky and do your whole deal with that. But we gotta have a loft wing first, so we need to get us a sword. Uh, I think the room you go to for that is up here. I could be completely wrong about that. Mm. 
That's the headmaster's office. We don't need that. Bath. It is kind of nice that they tell you what's behind each door. Zelda. Instructor Horwell. No? Can't go in there yet. I know there's a spot where we have to go to get uh get the sword. Or get a sword. Let's go out here and see what's out here. This just brings us out here. Ah, this hey. is the spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I remember. Talk to me. Item near a waterfall. Oh. <laughs> All right, yep, so let's take a look at our map. So that's where we're going to be going. But I think we need the sword first, so we'll come in here. swords in the back room. This is where we get the sword and we we learn about the uh, the button controls. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, I am very thankful for if this game did not offer some method of controlling that didn't involve motion, uh, I would be... I would have never played this game. Straight up. Would have never played. Uh... But at least now, thrust. So, that was the thrust. That was, and that's achieved with the pro controller by pressing uh, uh, the right stick in. And then a diagonal slash. That's a right diagonal slash. This one's a left. I don't remember what that one is for. This one's a downward slash. And this one is a horizontal one. Ready to try a spin attack? Sure. This might get a little bit hairy. Left, right, left. All right, so yeah, so sometimes you have to like, just put your fingers on top of the stick and just do it manually because trying to spin it there we go fatal blow this one's another weird one too Ugh. it's not super intuitive i did find myself using it occasionally especially as we got later into the game um and you will use it in the final boss battle for sure but i still I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, it's okay. I don't remember what you're supposed to do with this one. Practicing defense. We don't have a shield yet, so. Yes, please. Oh, did I? God damn it. I should have talked to him first. Because now I have to go through and do all this horse shit again. Fine, fine, fine. We'll do it again. Alright, so we'll do this one more time. Okay, fatal blow. See, it's hard to do. There we go. Not super intuitive, but it's fine. Let's 
So we're good. Can I go now? Or can I just leave? I think I might just be able to leave. I'm trying to go save my fucking bird, dude. Can I have this sword? There we go. Okay. So now we got the sword. Now we can uh, go head off in the direction of that waterfall. Try to get our bird back. Should probably save. Try not to get distracted right now with any like side quest stuff or anything of that nature. I'm trying to just keep it simple. Go off and uh, get my bird back. From a lore perspective, if you're really into the lore of Zelda, then I think this is uh, a pretty important game because, like I said, it establishes a lot of things. Um, from a purely gameplay standpoint, like, if this is a gap in your Zelda experience, your Zelda knowledge, then I would say, you know, if you have the chance to play it and you're curious about it, go for it. But don't go out of your way because it's just... It just is. You know, it just is what it is. It's not... To me, this is not a must-play, even after playing it. I was very excited to play it. I thought it would be uh, a good experience, and it, and it was, in parts. But it's never going to be this thing that I'm going to tell people, Oh my gosh, you haven't played uh, Skyward Sword? Like, you need to play Sky... No, you know. Play it if you get the chance, if you're so inclined. But it's not a must, a must-play or anything like that. And even if you're interested in the lore, uh, but don't necessarily have the means to play it or the interest, you know, Hyrule Historia does a pretty good job of covering uh, this game and kind of its importance to the overall Zelda lore. You don't really have to play it in order to understand all of what's important about Skyward Sword. Got us a treasure chest. We do want to get some rupees uh, early on here because uh, we're going to want to buy a shield. Um, so there's several different shields you can use throughout the game. Uh, you can eventually get the Hylian Shield, however, when I played my playthrough, I never did. Uh, it just wasn't something that I ever got around to doing. I was perfectly fine with just kind of the standard shields. But from an aesthetic standpoint, you know, I've seen the, uh, the screenshots and stuff of, um... Of the Hylian Shield in this game, and it does look quite good. It looks, looks quite cool. So maybe this time around we'll we'll take the time to go and get the uh, the Hylian shield. All right, so we'll do another another save. I wish the save process was a little quicker, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so there's Zelda. She's gonna hopefully tell us that she saw our, our bird. Hmm. Oh yeah, they're gonna kidnap her. That's right, now I'm remembering. So we're about to, about to set in motion the events of uh, the rest of the game. There's my boy. That's our loft wing. Level 
Let my boy go. I'm not sure what would put Jake off this game more, the motion control aspects or the uh, heavy usage of birds. I'm not sure which he would hate more. I already know he's not going to play it, so this this serves as his, whatever he didn't watch as a hate of play whenever she played through it. Uh, this is going to serve as his exposure to this game. Nope, did not hear a voice. If you're hearing voices, uh, you should probably talk to somebody, Zelda. Because that's pretty weird. The surface. Everything that exists beneath the clouds. So they've they've been living for as long as they can remember in this this world above the clouds and anything below the clouds seems scary and strange to them and that's going to be a recurring theme throughout this game <laughs> cue the cinematic Whistle for our loft wing. He grabs us. And off we go. So this is the loft wing travel, which um, when this was a Wii game was pretty widely uh, derided. People did not like this. And I imagine doing it with a Wii remote would probably suck pretty hard. In this game, like, it's it's fine. Like, it's not my favorite thing to do, but it's not this, like, annoying task that I feel is cumbersome. It, it's fine. So. And then you have a charge attack. Which you get a little bit more of a... You, you expand on that a little bit later in the game. Because there is, at one point, an aerial combat section with the loft wing. It's, it's pretty small, like it, it's one fight, and then you never really have to do it again, which I like. So we're going to start heading back to Skyloft. Re I'm determined to get us through kind of all of this stuff. All of the really, like, cumbersome storytelling, you know, like, let's, let's get to the game itself. I love the like bulk and skull music for these guys. <laughs> the sailcloth, which is uh, sort of the prototype for the um, the hang glider of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's go, right. let's go, let's go. Let's go do this race. Be on our way. Catches the bird and claims the statuette. Get this bird. This isn't a super difficult task, of course. Now that I say that, it's gonna I'm gonna fuck it up. Come on. in there. Uh. Ah, I almost had it. Prompt came up for a second. Let's see if I can cut him off at the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Keep missing the prompt. Hey, rude. Ah. Out of here, man. There we go. Get it. And he's going to knock us off, and then we're going to have to do it again. Oh, yeah, they're going to start throwing shit at me now. longer than it should. Like, this is not that hard. But like most things, I have to make it the most difficult. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go get our sailcloth. Gonna go jumping off of stuff? Like, it seems irresponsible. <laughs> so unlike a lot of Zelda games, there's a pretty, uh, like, pretty 
confirmed romance thing between Zelda and Link in this game, which there usually isn't. Like, there's usually either a very strictly professional relationship with them, or, like, it's it's pretty rare that there's, like, a love aspect between the two of them, but you definitely, uh, definitely get that in this game. get the sailcloth which like I said it's kind of the uh, the prototype for the hang glider in Breath of the Wild like you can't you can't jump and fly to different spots but sh this is essentially a parachute so there's no directional control with it but you can at least use it to uh, slow your descent Told you, real anime. Drop down right into the center. She spends a lot of time shoving us off ledges in this game. So you have some directional control when it comes to your body, but not once you deploy the cloth. Like, once you deploy the cloth, you're pretty much going straight down. She wants to go on a bird date. Isn't that sweet? Shit. Shit's on. Goodness. Here 
here she is, the other maligned aspect of this game when it was on Wii. Yet another thing that I'm not sure if Zelda fans can agree on how it's pronounced. Is it Fee or is it Fi? I've heard both. Uh, she's essentially our Navi, or Navi. Again, can't decide. Uh, but she's essentially our, our Navi in this game. And I'm told that in the Wii version she was a lot more annoying. She doesn't really bother me that much in this game. Uh, but according apparently to some other people... She was a real pain in the ass in the Wii version, so... Who knows? Daughter done got kidnapped, my friend. And I'm assuming you're gonna want me to go save her. Yeah, dude, she was hearing voices. Which generally always precedes something bad happening. Alright, I need you to get me out of this cutscene so that I can be on my way. <laughs> Just go back to sleep. It's fine. You can totally hit snooze on this one, my dude. She'll still be kidnapped when you wake up. she is so I actually like like I said mostly inoffensive I actually kind of liked her at points like there's a, a, a fairly emotional moment with her at the end of the game that uh, I think is great I think it's one of the better moments with the little like assistant thing that you have in a Zelda game so I, I don't hate her I definitely don't hate her this is quite pretty I dig that quite a bit. So like I said, I'm hopeful that we can power through and finish what remains of this t t interminable tutorial section, which I don't know what it is about modern Zelda that they were just so hard on for a, a long tutorial section in every single game. You all saw it. Weird cat raccoon sugar glider butthole. We all saw it. Even even when pixelated. Am I supposed to hit? I don't want to hit the animal with the thing. Don't make me do that game. What are you doing with your life? Some of the platforming leaves a little to be desired, too. I'm not going to pretend like that's perfect. Um... It's not awful, but there are definitely some sections where you're just like, really? This is what we're doing? But it's it's not the worst. Uh, it's not the worst defender in this Zelda series. Oh, God. Camera is um, okay in this game. Could be better. It's not as bad as some other entries in the series, though. Definitely an improvement over uh, 64 era Zelda, for sure. All right, are we there yet or what, lady? 
trying to get us down to the forest. That's where we're that's where we're supposed to be. Hmm. Is this the back of the statue? Are we going into the statue's butthole? <gasps> Guess so. <gasps> and there it is. There's the sword. Which so it's not technically the master sword at this point. Uh that's kind of part of the the elements part of the game element is building up the power of the sword so it becomes the master sword again is it fee or fi i feel like it could go either way Yeah. Yeah, I'm apprehensive. I was supposed to ride a bird and get a statue today. I wasn't supposed to be, like, the hero. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up. Like, there's just too many cutscenes. Just give me the sword and let's fucking go already. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. You asked me if I was ready to take the sword. Clearly, I said yes. Give it to me. Oh god. I forgot how you even have to, like. You have to do shit with the stick just to get it up. Ugh. So I believe they call this the Skyward Strike. And this is definitely a recurring mechanic. Uh, raise the sword up to the sky, it starts to glow, and then you can use it to do magic stuff. Words. Alright. The Chamber of the Sword. Youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Mm. <laughs> the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. That's funny. Dun dun. Going down to the surface. I'm 
The Emerald Tablet. Okay. <laughs> Bring. That opens that up. We got our first little tchotchke. Right in there. And then that sends out our first little signal of where we're supposed to go. like but if you're gonna go find my daughter you know if you're gonna if you're passing through can you like let me go dude I need to go get a shield and then like be on my way If I have to go somewhere to get the... No, okay, he just gives it to me. Thank God. I got my tunic. My green tunic. Mm. Yeah, so this... I kind of blurred through the, the text box there, but yeah. Basically, they establish here that green was just happened to be the color this year for the competition. And that's what we're getting. And then that establishes that green is the uniform of the hero forevermore. And I just think that's kind of funny that the the uniform that we know as Link in almost every Zelda game, uh, barring a few, was basically just a random choice. Like, yeah, yeah, we just happened to order green for the shirts this year. Just think that's kind of funny. All right. God, everybody's fucking talking to me. Like, just let me go. Oh, yeah, the adventure pouch. I forgot about that. So, yeah, we need to go to the, uh, the bazaar and get us a shield. We're pretty much almost done for today. I'm gonna go get a shield, uh, and then we're gonna go jump down, and uh, we'll, we'll save real quick here. Uh, we're gonna go get a shield, then we're gonna go jump down and travel down to the forest. And that's gonna be where we're gonna pick up uh, with the next episode. Go, oh my god. Oh, they just talk to you so much in the early stages of this game. Like, just shut up and leave me alone. Let me live my life. All right, so we'll go in here. It's our kind of central shop area, Hyrule Market-esque type, type place. Uh, and I believe it is... We're, we're not going to talk. Because you kind of honestly creep me out just a little bit. Alright, let's get this shield. 
50 rupees. We can we can stomach that. And uh, yet another sort of primordial uh, Breath of the Wild thing. Uh, the shields are degradable in this game. As you can see right under my health meter in the top left there, there's our shield health. It's This is one of the, the unique ones, though, where they did sort of do it better in this one than they did in Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, obviously, stuff degrades and you don't really know when it's going to break on you. Um, and I know that was a big complaint of a lot of people looking at you, Jake and Lizzie. Uh, and, uh, in here you at least get a little meter that tells you when it's going to break. Now the weapons, they don't degrade at all. It's just the shields. But, uh, and then there's different ones. Like we got the wooden shield to start with, but eventually we're going to get a metal shield. Uh, and there's a couple other ones I think you can get as well. As I said, the Hylian shield. So we're going to go down here to the surface to the forest and that's where we're going to pick up with next time thankfully the cutscene is not this long every single time you travel down to the surface it's just the first time We have arrived. The sealed grounds. This is going to be an important section of the game. This is actually the arena where we will have that boss fight I was talking about three times fighting the same boss inside this little arena. We've uncovered our first little section of the map here. Again, very reminiscent of kind of Breath of the Wild looks to the map. Um, not as polished or clean as the Breath of the Wild map, but very, you can see kind of the, much like, you know, the Wii U versus the Switch, you can see a lot of the stuff that would later become a better version of it uh, starting out here. So it took me, God damn it, trying to talk while I do things. It took me way too long to figure out to use the uh, the opening position, either up in north and south or east and west, for those enemies to figure out how I was supposed to defeat them. Ugh. I at this point, I just want to get to a bird statue so that I can save, but it's of course going to make me do more cutscene bullshit! Because this is the tutorial. Ugh. I forget what that thing's called. Demise, I think, is the big boss. That's not the demise. But it's something akin to that. I don't remember. We'll, we'll figure it out. Can I skip this cutscene or what? Can I? Did I just do it? Oh, I did it. Oh, thank God. I skipped the cutscene, you guys. We did it. Pr I'm pretty sure the prompt for skipping the cutscene is behind my face on the screen, so that's where I was missing. I don't remember what this is asking for. Clearly not that. Let's go up here. Really, I just want a bird statue so that I can save and we can call it a day. Maybe I'm supposed to go down there and deal with that. 
Let's go see. Raise the sword of the goddess. So I guess we are. I don't remember. I don't think we're going to fight him yet. But I could be completely wrong about that. The imprison. That's what this is called. <laughs> Maybe we are going to fight him already, though. It seems very early for this, but I could be wrong. No, I already know what the dowsing thing is. So this is kind of our tracking. This is, again, sort of a... a, a early type prototype of version of the the Sheikah Slate sensor in Breath of the Wild, you know? Like, you could track things, and it's not quite as intuitive as the Breath of the Wild tracking. They did it much better there. Um, but yeah, it is here. It is, a, it is a thing that we will use a fair amount. Alright, can I get in here now, or what? Go. Really I'm trying to wrap this up. Give me a bird statue. I think I can use that one. If it'll let me. Okay. Sealed temple. So that I think is where we're going to pick up next time. We'll use this to save. Okay. We did it, gang. All right. So we're through the majority of the tutorial stuff, and we should be able to just jump right in next time with um, some actual gameplay. Wouldn't that be nice? Gameplay in a game. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I'm happy to be doing this again. It's been a few months. I'm happy to jump back in. Uh, subscribe to all the bullshit up top if you have not already. Uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. Jake on Mondays. Jake and Lizzie on Wednesdays. Uh, sometimes Lizzie and I on Thursdays, even though we haven't done that in a while. Uh, Lizzie on Fridays and Lauren whenever she feels like it and we'll check in with you next Tuesday for more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD have a good week gang